Coming up, why a new trend has everyone talking. And try to find your way through this maze. Plus, tips to pick the best pumpkin. It's all ahead. Good afternoon and welcome to Suncast. We're here at Farmer Dave's and Drake and we're about to enter the corn maze. Shuffle through a maze of corn stalks, but you'll need more than a trail of breadcrumbs to find your way out. The corn maze itself is about three acres, and the trails in the maze are over a mile long. So there's plenty of uh, trails to get lost on. Uh, it's more difficult than last year, so um, I plan on spending a little bit of time trying to figure out how to get out of the maze. Drake at farmer Dave Dumaresque designed the maze using a machete to hack out the paths. Think of it as an outdoor adventure. There's definitely a need or a desire of people in the area to just get out on the farm, especially on the far, on the, in the fall. They just want to, you know, get out of the house, go out in the fields, and have some fun. And what better fun than a labyrinth through a cornfield? Even Farmer Dave admits he's gotten lost. I have. Yeah. I've gotten lost in the maze, but I eventually found my way out. I mean. I designed it so I should know how to get out of it. And if you prefer traditional fall activities, Farmer Dave's on Parker Road in Drakett offers hay rides and pumpkin picking with a vibrant pumpkin patch. We asked Dave for his top tips to pick the perfect pumpkin. To pick the best pumpkin, again, scout out the whole field so that you know that you're getting the, um, the, the, the variety that you probably want. If it's already cut off the vine, which it should be when the time you uh, go to pick it, you want to look for a stem that's on the longer side, uh, such as this, and it's cut off here. You want the stem, if it's in September, the stems should still be rather green, but it'll start to bleach out with the sun. So if it's been in the field uh, into October, the stem might start to uh, be white, but that's fine. You never want to pick up the pumpkin from the stem or by the stem because it tends to break. Before you, you decide that this is the pumpkin that you want, you just want to look it over and make sure there's no fresh scars on it. Because if, if there's a recent cut in the skin, that could lead to uh, disease and bacteria will get in there and that'll cause the pumpkin to start to rot. So what about those pumpkins that are still green? Once they have a little bit of orange, they will mature. If it has no orange on it yet, uh, it tends to not get orange. So that's the secret. Wait till it has a little touch of orange. For more on Farmer Dave's, visit www.farmerdaves.net. Coming up next, there's a new wedding tradition that has a lot of people talking trash. It's every bride's fantasy. The ring, the white dress. But wait a second. Why is her wedding dress muddy? It's a unique way to express ourselves and something to look back on when we're older and remember when we didn't care what anyone thought. And Sarah and Craig Miller got married in June. The recent prance in the park is part of a new trend called Trash the Dress. Think of it as expensive play clothes. It's who we are. It's not caring if something gets dirty. I'll try and hose it off after, but <laughs> it's, it's fun. And it's kind of liberating to run around in your wedding dress in the rain. And... Their wedding photographer captured the couple at the Acton Arboretum, sharing intimate moments on tree branches and wading through a cold, muddy bog. But for Sarah and Craig, this marks their new adventure as a couple. I've gone through a lot of transitions, and when I met her, I went through the biggest one of my whole life. And it's like, this to me defines who we are as a couple right now. It's a... Uh, it's everything. This is what I want to, this is more important to me than the pictures we took at our wedding because this is just her and I. That's it for us here in Drake It. Tune in to Friday's Suncast where we'll tell you what's on the menu in Acton. Thank you and have a good afternoon.